a big proponent with getting kind of scrappy with your Bible journaling, adding paper where paper can be added, adding envelopes and pockets. I love the idea of adding as much space as possible to my Bible journaling pages because I will always have notes to add when I'm studying the scriptures. Today, I'm sharing with you my most frequently asked questions about how I add paper, envelopes, folders, all of that good stuff. Let's begin. So kind of funny story. I mentioned a few videos back that my husband brought home two ducks the other day, just like super spontaneously. Well, today he pretty spontaneously brought home two goats. Things are ramping up. It's getting a little bit more serious here. <laughs> I laugh because I have the attitude, as long as you're gonna take care of these animals, I'm fine, go and get them. He has the attitude, like the more, you know, animals that I can dream up and have, the greater it's gonna get. I laugh because it's like a quarter life crisis. We're pretty young and we started a family young and he has a very serious job, he's a pastor. And so instead of buying fancy cars or the new coolest phone or game or something like that. He's the type of man that will go buy goats. So I think I won the lottery. So I bring this up because I'm the type of person that has this same kind of attitude when it comes to my Bible journaling. I want to add as many pages as possible in the most fun and interactive ways as possible. I like adding more pages and more stuff and getting scrappy with it. Y'all know I have an interleaved Bible. So every other page is completely blank, which you would think is a plenty of space for me. But I'm like, no. I still run out of space and I have to add stuff. I have to add little flaps or whatever. So I'm gonna show you today how I do that. First off, first general rule when it comes to adding an entire sheet of additional paper to your Bible is you wanna have a general idea of how big your Bible journaling pages are. So you can just measure like from the seam-ish out to the edge and up. Just measure all the different lengths and all that stuff. And then you're gonna want the piece of paper that you add into your Bible to just be slightly smaller, maybe a millimeter smaller on the height and on the width. Because if you don't do that, it's gonna stick out on the edge and just be a little bit, can you see that? It will stick out like this little white piece of paper does. Um, that's because whenever you add it into your Bible, you can't get it to inlay as perfectly and evenly as the Bible pages that came in your Bible. So you're always gonna wanna add a piece of paper that's smaller than the pieces of paper in your Bible. My one caveat to this is, is if it folds out. So if you have a super large piece of paper, maybe it's a print off that you got from a conference or something like that, you can put it in your Bible. It just has to fold to make room for it. And when it comes to adding that piece of paper into your Bible, there's two ways you can do that. You can do that with a tip in or you can tape it in. Now, first off, I like to add scrapbook paper, like from scrapbook sets like this. It's thicker, so it just stands up to more wear and tear. I like using scrapbook paper also because it's just pretty, like this stuff has hologram to it. It's my personal opinion. For my Bible journaling pages to fit well, I've found that they need to be like six and a half inches wide by nine and like a quarter. Now there are two ways you can add sheets into your Bible. The first way is with a tip in and you can use a specialty glue. I have just been using crazy art from the dollar store. For a tip in, super simple. The edge that goes inside of your Bible just gets covered with glue. It does not have to be perfect. And then all you have to do is literally just place it in between the Bible pages. And then what I like to do is close my Bible <laughs> and press it really hard. You should be good. Just let it dry for a few minutes. Where do we add that in? Yeah, so it's, it's good and it blends with the rest of my pages. Now it's only been like 30 seconds and it's already like in there like a normal page. I would say I've made this mistake before. I went ahead and wrote on the piece of paper and then I added it into my Bible. And when I glued it in, some of the words got covered with glue and like the seam. So either write on it after you glue it into your Bible or write on it with like half an inch of extra space on the side, wherever it's gonna go in and glue in. Now there's also the method of taping in a piece of paper. So this one I ended up cutting just to six inches instead of six and a half inches so that there's a little bit more room for folding it out. So when you do this method, you could really honestly do any size that's smaller than 
your Bible page size. I'm gonna use some of my new washi tapes that a sweet Patreon sent me. Shout out to Teresa for sending me these, super sweet. I like using washi tape because if you place it like wrong in your Bible the first time, washi tape easily peels off and then you can replace it in the correct spot. And so there's a little less pressure to get it perfect the first time. Other tapes are a little bit more sticky and like kind of permanent when it comes to paper. Now the beauty about this approach is like, I'm gonna add this so that it flaps out like this, but you could add it where it flaps down like this. In Romans, I did it so that it can fold down multiple times, but you use the same exact method. So it's pretty simple. What you wanna do is just line up the edge of this paper right here with the edge of your Bible page as cleanly as you possibly can. I like to roll back the washi tape so that I can see it really well. And then once it's lined up, just go ahead and fold the tape down. Again, washi tape is nice because you can peel it and it won't damage the paper. And then once you've put tape on the outside, just make sure to do the same exact thing on the inside. I'm not going to use this washi tape because it would cover up my words here. I'm just gonna go back through with clear tape and use it on the inside. And there you go. You have a flap or an additional page, like so much more note space. And you're getting creative and interactive with your Bible. All right, so next up, let's talk envelopes. I'm a big proponent for envelopes in your Bible because they're a great way to put little knickknacks or memorabilia in your Bible, like maybe a church bulletin or a cutout from your church bulletin, maybe a sticker, like Bible journaling supplies. In the back of my Bible, I put all of my Bible journaling supplies and I made this envelope to put in the back of my Bible. You could even do pre-made envelopes. What I'm gonna do is show you how I make a really simple envelope. And to be completely frank with you, there's like so many different DIY envelopes online on Pinterest. So you can check those out as well. Hey guys, it's the next day. The goats were way too loud yesterday, but let's continue our conversation. So envelopes, what you kind of want to do, because I don't know the dimensions of your Bible, is you want to take your square piece of paper and make it into the shape of a diamond. I like to do, if you want the pattern to be visible from the outside, the pattern down to your Bible. And then all you're gonna do is try and make sure that the points on the top and on the bottom are kind of center in your Bible page. So just eyeball it, you know. It doesn't have to be perfect. At least in my world, it doesn't have to be perfect. Push a fold down into that crease. So now you're gonna turn your Bible this way. You have a fold down into this crease. And then fold a fold up so that it lines up with the edge of your paper. Something like that. I think I'm actually gonna pull in just a little bit more so that I know for sure it's not gonna hang off the edge of my Bible. Okay, now we can just pick this up and see. This is totally not even. So what we're gonna do is just mess with it until it's more even. or as perfect as possible even and it matches the width of my Bible now I want it to match the length of my Bible page so all I'm gonna do is make that crease and fold up what I can do is trim off and make it a straight line there or what I like to do is I just tuck this page in and I make a crease step going down the center because that's how envelopes are that you buy at the store and then you have an envelope. Now, if these creases drive you nuts, which honestly, they would kind of drive me nuts, this could now be your pattern. And you know how to make the perfect size envelopes from here on out because you have this pattern piece. You just copy the exact same folds. It's really up to you, but this is how I make my envelopes. Not perfect. If you want a perfect method, Try somebody on Pinterest, but I'm not your girl to be perfect. What I suggest is that you don't do the tip-in method where you put glue on the edge and stick it in. What I suggest is taping it in with a tape-in method because tape can bear a little bit more weight than glue. So there's a lot of options. Hopefully this gives you a bunch of ideas. Comment down below what you would add to this video, like an idea or thought. Check out this video if you want more Bible journaling ideas or check out this video if you want a Bible journal with me and we talk about 
Oh, so much richness. I will see you guys in these videos. Bye y'all.